The Villa Bruna individual represents a key figure in understanding the genetic history of Western hunter-gatherers during the late Upper Paleolithic period in Europe. Discovered in the Villa Bruna rock shelter in northern Italy and dating to around 14,000 years ago, this individual's genome has provided significant insights into the population dynamics of post-Ice Age Europe. The Villa Bruna individual belongs to the WHG population a group that spread across Western and Central Europe after the last glacial maximum, contributing significantly to the genetic makeup of later European populations. With PCA-based ancestry calculators such as G25 or Eurogenes K13, the closest modern Europeans to Villa Bruna are Latvians and other Northeast Europeans. With the Eurogenes K13 in Monte Oracle, Villa Bruna scores a mixture of North Swedish and Estonian. That is because all other Europeans have an abundance of Anatolian Neolithic farmer and Paleolithic Siberian components and populations of the Baltic, despite still being majority non-WHG, show the highest degree of resemblance to Western hunter-gatherers in Europe. The Villa Bruna individual is predicted to have green eye color, black hair color, light brown skin color, straight hair texture, and a rather Greek than snub nose shape. The Villa Bruna individual carried variants for thick eyebrows and increased nose size, as well as non-European facial morphology in EDAR, however still scores entirely European in the facial morphology oracle despite this exotic EDAR genotype. When it comes to the polygenic warrior versus warrior trait, Villa Bruna was a warrior. This is a common phenotype in Europeans and very uncommon phenotype outside of Europe. Warriors have lower activity of the COMT, MAOA, and MAOB enzymes and higher levels of dopamine, and because of that struggle in stressful situations when the natural production of dopamine is already high. Villa Bruna was predisposed to an intermediate number of D2 dopamine receptors and a roughly average score for both bipolar and schizophrenia. Villa Bruna was predisposed to an intermediate level of serotonin and an average score for depression. Villa Bruna had an average predisposition to autism. Villa Bruna carried two out of six variants for lactase persistence, but didn't carry any of the recent ones that are exclusive to Europeans. Villa Bruna was predisposed to a higher level of empathy based on OXDR genotype. Villa Bruna had a predisposition to a significantly elevated level of plasma homocysteine, which is a bad predisposition, and because of that scores above average for the risk of cardiovascular issues. Villa Bruna is predisposed to various epithelial cancers but is somewhat protected from testicular cancer, which is uncommon for Europeans who tend to have high risk for this condition. Villa Bruna is also somewhat protected from leukemia. When it comes to the HLA gene panel, overall the Villa Bruna individual doesn't score badly. But there are a couple of risk genotypes. Just like the Caucasus hunter-gatherers we have reviewed yesterday, the Villa Bruna individual has risk variants in HLA-B for B27 syndromes. These variants are very rare. These genotypes in Caucasus hunter-gatherers, just as in Villa Bruna, are a big deal. Villa Bruna is predisposed to an intermediate odds of obesity. Villa Bruna had very high risk for age-related macular degeneration, hemoglobin E disease, rheumatoid arthritis, and Alzheimer's, all of which are diseases predominantly found in Europe and Americans of European descent. Villa Bruna had below average odds for epilepsy, kidney stones, atrial fibrillation, multiple sclerosis, stroke, and Tourette syndrome. Villa Bruna didn't carry any risk variants for any uncommon conditions that trait predictor looks for. Moving on to biomarkers, Villa Bruna is predicted to have severe vitamin D deficiency, mostly due to a genotype in the GC gene responsible for vitamin D levels. Villa Bruna is predicted to have average levels of LDL and HDL cholesterol, average level of hemoglobin, average level of iron in blood, average level of sex hormone binding globulin in blood, average blood pressure, and average red blood cell count in blood. Villa Bruna deviates from the average significantly when it comes to glucose levels, where he is predisposed to lower levels, which is good. He is also predicted to have longer telomere length, which predisposes him to longer biological lifespan and shorter stature. Regarding his blood type, Villa Bruna is predicted to belong to the O blood group, which is common among Europeans. Thank you so much for being awesome and staying with me until the end of my video. Uh, make sure you check out the description of the video, which contains the links to buy Villa Bruna Genome in 23andMe format that you can use to 
run it through GED match. You can use it to run it through my trade predictor. By the way, the link to buy my trade predictor executable is also going to be in the description of the video. The link to purchase a report, just a single report for $3.85 is also going to be in the description of the video. You can purchase a report with my trade predictor. Uh, it is very cheap, very cheap and very good. So make sure you get that. Uh, and uh, also, of course, I need to say thanks for watching. I really appreciate you, you guys, my audience. Uh, thanks for watching my videos. And of course, uh, do leave a like, comment, share and subscribe if you enjoy my content. And uh, goodbye.